Okay, so we're in my laundry and I'm going to show you the method that I've been using for a little while now to clean symbols. Um, this video is not going to be a debate on whether you should or shouldn't clean symbols. If you are not a fan of cleaning symbols, then this video is simply not for you. But should you choose to clean the symbols, uh, it's good to know sort of the way you can do it, the way you shouldn't do it. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to have used quite a few different cleaners in the past, some that are purpose built for symbols like Groove Juice and of course the, the Sabian cleaner in this case. Most brands have their own uh, cleaner that they recommend. Uh, but what I've found over time is that um, if you're cleaning probably more than, well no more than maybe once or twice a year, uh, you can give them a good clean with some household products which is not only cheaper but uh, also they're, they're more readily accessible uh, and they work as well. So the idea is first we have to give the symbol a clean and then once we've cleaned the symbol, we need to essentially seal it so that it makes it easier to clean that symbol the next time. Um, now the two products that I'm using, the first one here is Barkeeper's Friend. Now Barkeeper's Friend is a, well it's pretty much an all purpose cleaner. Uh, and this is primarily oxalic acid, which is really good for loosening rust, removing tarnish. Um, it could be used for removing ink out of clothing and stains. It's, so it's used everywhere. Uh, and as I said, very, very easy to find. I go for the powder version because the powder version just gives you that little bit of grit. So if your symbols are quite dirty, it'll allow you to, to sort of really get in there and give them a good clean. Obviously, you want to be uh, careful of the logos because the logos can come off. They're just screen printed on. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll use to clean it. And then when it comes to protecting the symbol after it's been cleaned, I've used a couple of different things in the past and they've all been reasonably good. Uh, I'm now using the full metal jacket, which is through a company called Final Inspection. They're based in Australia. Um, it's not the cheapest stuff to buy, but essentially all this is, is a sort of a hard shell uh, wax, but it's a liquid wax. So it's a little bit cleaner to apply, less work involved, and it actually lasts a really, really long time. If you want to, you can use, if you want to, you can use uh, just a regular car wax, as long as it's wax and not a polish, because the polish will actually cut into the symbol as well. And that's obviously what we're using this stuff for. So a the car wax is the way you want to go. So the first step is you want to actually get all the, all the surface dirt and dust off your symbols. A lot of people are scared to wet the symbol down, but you shouldn't be. As long as you dry the thing properly, there's no issue. Now this symbol here is about 15 years old and uh, I have recently cleaned it, so it's not nearly as dirty as it was a few weeks ago. Uh, but if you just want to move in close, I'll show you what's going on. So just wet it down, make sure there's nothing sort of on the symbol itself to clean down. There it is. And then all I'm going to do is just give a, a good amount of the cleaner there. And this is just a microfiber cloth or any sort of cloth. I don't use steel wool, obviously no scouring pads or, or anything abrasive. You don't want anything too abrasive because of course that can be dangerous to the symbol. And because the powder itself already has an abrasive nature to it, uh, it's going to be more than enough to clean what we need. Okay, so here I am just doing some swirls, obviously being very careful of the logos, saving water at the same time. So there we are, just go around and then of course finish up by going with the grooves. Uh, and we won't cut this, we'll do this in real time because I want to show you how long I'm leaving this on for as well. All right, so there we go. All done. So I've applied this while the symbol is wet. Okay, I'm being very, very light going around this logo. If the symbols are really dirty and they've sort of turned orange because they haven't been cleaned for a long time or if they've been in a human environment, um, that patina that you get on the top of those symbols, not a patina really, but the tarnish that you get will easily be removed with this stuff because this is actually what the barkeeper's friend is supposed to do. It removes that tarnish. But if you don't go across the logos, you'll find that they'll stay orange. So you do need to go over them. You just do it very, very carefully. All right, so it's been about a minute, maybe just over a minute now. So here I am still working away, just rubbing it in, not putting a lot of pressure at all. Uh, if you do have finger marks around the edge, you might want to give them a little bit more. And again, if this symbol was a little bit older, you'd probably find that uh, the symbol starts to change color. So it's going more of a, more of a goldy brass color rather than the orange that it would have started. So all that tarnish would probably now be removed after this amount of time. Straight under the water, rinse off. Okay, and then of course, and this is the, the important step, make sure that you dry the symbol. Um, symbols have a high amount of copper in them. Copper doesn't like water too much, so if you let water dry, particularly if it's in spots, uh, you may find that you get green, little green dots all over your symbol, which you actually get sometimes when you are playing and you flick sweat on your symbol and don't realize it. you open it the next, next week or whatever and 
there's these green spots, really, really hard to remove. So make sure that you dry the symbol properly. Okay, so just have a look at that. So again, this was pretty clean to start with, um, but there's no effort involved here. Again, this is fairly cheap stuff to buy. Uh, and then once it's dry, what I'll do is I'll hit it into the second stage. So now that it's clean and it's a bare surface metal, we want to protect it. So protecting it obviously does a few things. It uh, protects the, the actual bare surface, and that means that you can touch it with your fingers and hands and it'll wipe off nice and easy because you'll actually have a physical layer uh, in the wax that's going to help protect that. But it will also stop it going orange again because that, that protection that it's providing is also against things like humidity and the elements as well. Uh, so again, I'm using the, what is it, the Full Metal Jacket Spray. I don't apply it directly to the symbol. I spray a bit on a little applicator pad. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just some sort of clean cloth. Uh, just go around the symbol. So if you're using car wax, like a turtle wax, you would do exactly the same thing. And then you'd leave it for a minute or two. And that's it there. They actually feel different too. So once the um, wax has dried and you've buffed that off, you'll feel that the, the symbol actually has like a, like a slippery feel or a sliding feel. Um, so you can tell that there's actually physically something on there that's coated that symbol. And you don't have to worry too much about the lathing lines. It's not going to flatten them out. You know, and some people have mentioned that that's a problem because they think that if those lines get filled in, the symbol's not going to have any sound. But you really don't have to worry about that. All right, so we've been letting this sit for about 30 seconds. Depending on what you're using for the coating, this might take a little bit longer. If you're using a car wax, the car wax will actually dry white and you can... Um, just slide your finger along with the grooves and if you're if it's coming off cleanly and you're not seeing like a drag uh, then it's dry and you're pretty much ready to buff it off but once it's ready to be buffed off then that's literally all you do buff it off and so now not only is this symbol clean but it's also protected so I clean my symbols maybe once a year uh, and you can see I've had this one for 15 years. It cleans up very well. The logos are a little bit gone now, of course, just from repeated cleans. But, um, you know, it's very, very easy to do. And it's not a big job for me to clean these or re-clean these afterwards because I use that protective layer after the fact. Okay. And that's it.